What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use WinX Media Trans in order to manage the content from your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch and so on on your computer. So this allows you to basically transfer photos and your ebooks and you know manage the files on your device and stuff like that. The program is available on the WinXDVD.com and it's called WinX Media Trans and of course there's a free trial available as well. It supports the latest iOS 16.1 beta as well as the latest devices. So essentially this program allows you to easily manage and transfer the photos, videos, music and stuff like that between iPhone, iPad and the computer. So this is what iTunes does normally, right? Well, not really. iTunes is actually quite bad at transferring your files and particularly bad at managing the files. You can't retrieve one photo, for example, from the device. You have to do a whole backup, which you can't even open in iTunes. You can just restore it back. And yeah, it's overall very clunky to use and it lacks a lot of features. With MediaTrans though, it's actually quite easy. For example, let me demonstrate right here how you can use WinX MediaTrans in order to access the photos on your device and to copy them to the computer from your phone. Now, as you can see, it here, iOS 16.1 is supported, compatible with all types of iPhone, iPad, and iPod, running iOS 7.0 and later. So I'm going to connect my iPod Touch here. We have a test device that we can connect. And once we trust the computer, you can see it says Apple iPod in there. So it was detected. And the WinX Media Trans detected the device as well. It says iPod Touch with 20 gigs free out of 32. And as you can see, the iOS version was also detected iOS 15.6.1 and the iTunes version that is currently installed. Now we press here on the photo transfer and it's as easy as that. It's gonna search all the photos on the device and as you can see I can easily browse them, select one and synchronize it over to my computer. I can easily press export over here and that's it. I have the photo right now on my computer with no effort whatsoever and I can open it for example in paint or whatever. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this program in order to manage your files on your device much easier than with iTunes. iTunes for example doesn't have the option to do what I just did, to plug in the device, see all my photos, copy them over and for example delete the photo from the device and stuff like that, press synchronize and that's it. So as you can see it's much easier with this. You can even export with encryption. Let's say for example that these photos over here are important, I want to copy them over to the computer but I want to encrypt them so I'm gonna press export with encryption over here and as you can see this pop-up appears where you can set a password and of course only then those will be encrypted. But of course losing this password means you're going to lose the files as well. Alright, so I set up a password in there, we press OK and that's it. It says enter password to protect your data. We did that and now we can enable the exporting with encryption for both photo and video. So I'm gonna press OK in there and that's it. So now if I export with encryption, I'm gonna press in here and those files as you can see are my photos but they are basically encrypted. Opening them for example with with paint would do nothing. You can't open it. It says it's not a valid bitmap image. So of course those are encrypted and can only be decrypted with the program. But if you don't want to turn on encryption you can easily export them as files as well. And it's as simple as that really. So that's how you manage the photos. It can also filter the screenshots only. You can easily create albums as well. For example, I created one called Cats. Let's create one called Dogs and stuff like that. And you can manage those albums as well. If you want to add photos easily to the device, for example, I want to add this screenshot over here, which appears to be from Zebra. I can just press add, select the one from desktop and it will be added on the list. Then I press synchronize and it will synchronize all the data. So you can see now we have the photo in here. Pretty easy to do, very easy to manage your device. There is also the encrypt file over here, add photo and videos for encryption, please remember the password, but there's also the file decryption. So for example, we have this encrypted file that we created earlier, which we cannot open. I'm going to move it in there and we can only decrypt it with the program. So I'm going to go right here and you can see it's encrypted. We press decrypt and it asks for the password. It's the password we set in the program earlier. So as you can see, I set up the password over here. We press OK and it decrypts the file easily. Once it's decrypted, you can see the file is now available over here. So pretty easy stuff. If you want to encrypt stuff, you do the same. You drag it and drop it in here, press encrypt now and it will use the password. And as you can see, it's now a dear mob file as well and it can no longer be opened. So you need to decrypt it first. So you can easily encrypt and decrypt personal photos that you don't want others to have access to. There's also the option to recover the voice and ringtones over here. You can manage your ringtones, voice memos, which is important. And of course, your podcasts and stuff like that. You can even delete them from here as well. There is also the flash 
flash drive option. Now, of course, you probably know that iOS devices don't have an SD card, so you can't just pop up the SD card and place it on the computer to use it as a storage device. So this program in here allows you to use the phone just like that, just like a flash drive. You can drag and drop files in here and they will be copied just like on a flash drive. It doesn't matter what kind of files they are. You can copy the files in there and any type would work because this acts as a flash drive. You won't be able to see the files on the device, but you will be able to carry them on the device as if it was a flash drive and you would be able to get them back on another computer. So you can see I have an mp4 file here, a url file, a dear mob file, a png file that is encrypted and even a webb file that is encrypted. Once you no longer need them on the device, you can remove them pretty easily by doing that. Same thing with the books. I have a PDF example over here, which is basically the Winx Media Trans website, but in PDF format, essentially like an ebook, and I can easily drag it and drop it to the device, and I just press sync over here, and that's it. The ebook was transferred to the device easily. So you can drag and drop PDFs as well, like your books and your class notes and, you know, university notes and stuff like that. Anything you need to have on your device for study purposes or for reading purposes and whatever. So yeah, it even shows your battery over here. That's a nice touch. It shows the battery percentage of the connected device. So yeah, definitely check it out. Winx Media Trans allows you to easily manage the files like photos, videos and stuff like that from your iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch to your computer. And it does much more than iTunes does, which is actually quite incredible. It also has proper encryption, password protection for your photos, videos and stuff like that with quite beefy encryption algorithms over here. So definitely check it out in the link below. There is a free trial available. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.